they kind of went with our theme for today, which is showing you guys my Littlest Pet Shop collection. And this is going to be in three parts. my first little spot job play set. And one of the things I
had like I don't know I, I love girly and boyish things so and there's nothing wrong with kids liking either one um, I think that's whatever opens their mind to the world and what they have fun with it you know like as long as they have fun with whatever it is um, there's nothing wrong with that um, don't know why I went on that tangent but sometimes I just like to Everyone is welcome. Everyone's allowed to do like whatever they want and like what they want. I think that's that should be how it is, you know. Try and open this. So open it up. And there's other pieces that go in here too. I think um, there's an, some accessories that will show in part set, which included a little, um, like, examination table for an x-ray. So that came with this, but it's not in here right now. But we got, like, a little chart. A little chart with a dog on it. It says butterflies in stomach. Sweetheart. Funny bone. There's this. Colors of this feel very summery to me. Um, and this little lamp, like heating lamp, I guess. And I think this set also came with a little gecko pet. I could be wrong. I mean, it came separate, but I feel like it came with this because um, one of the things was the gecko has red spots that go away when you rub on it. And that was supposed to be like, like it was sick with red spots or something. But I could be honestly hallucinating that entire memory and be totally wrong, but it sounds right. It sounds right in my head. <laughs> um, and this little drawer that comes out, you can just put things in it. <laughs> little accessories. as a kid that were, I don't know, I guess they were traumatizing just because of the amount, the sheer amount that there were, and I just, so I wasn't really very fond of doctors to begin with, and going to the doctor and getting sick, so I kind of gravitated towards away, away from this set, <laughs> um, understandably, I suppose. Oh, it's actually broken. <gasps> Guys, I didn't even know. I didn't realize the door fell off. The door was broken. Look at it. It snapped right off. <laughs> That's sad. That's okay. I'll just have to make a note of that if I decide to sell these. Thank <laughs> you. 
kind of like a three-parter. If you don't know, little pet shop pets have a little magnetic foot on them, so you can use little magnetic parts of their play sets and accessories too. So like this has a little paw print on it. I should have grabbed grabbed one to use as an example, but you just put them on top and it just slides across. sit on these too. They're not magnetic, but they can just sit on them. Um, this one came with a little dog that has a magnetic mouth <laughs> instead of magnetic feet. And you can put discs in it. And is this... What is, I forgot what... Oh, actually this, I think you just... You can move them around on it. There's this thing on it, and I think it's for the discs. I think you like shoot, you put the disc on it in this part, and then pull this back, and it shoots into his mouth. It's so funny. I love that. Just so many cool features with this toy. Here's the back. What the back looks like. frog <laughs> pond thingy where you put this little um kind of like a little <laughs> surf I don't even what would you call it it's round and they they like stand on it <laughs> and then when you do this the little things come up and it pushes them down not like a it's not I, I literally cannot form a word to describe this thing like a snowboard like a snow thing it's, it's like really frustrating me for some reason that I can't think of a word <laughs> I guess like a snowboard a round snowboard. I'm okay. There's this little dragonfly thing. I don't want to see him move. I think he moves with... No, he doesn't move with that. <laughs> There's this diving board. It's really funny when you use some of this stuff because it'll just like, you know, What's the date on it? 2005. 
so I could probably almost tell which ones I got based on a date maybe, but maybe not, because I think most of them are from 2005 or 2006, 7, 8, that time period. <laughs> I like the purple border on this. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty like you're literally training children to be like Pavlov's dog. Like how it's like you're training the kid to train the pet to do that. It's like really weird. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun features with these toys for sure. Like it's like This one was so fun to play with, too. Um, especially because I could bring it places. Oh my god, dude, I had so much fun with this. Um, and I also love how it looks. Um, the colors really drew me in. And it opens like this. Look how cool. Look how freaking cool. And there's uh, a swing you can set up. A little cheese swing. I love food. I'm a foodie and I love also the like f toy food <laughs> and fake food.
and then this comes out and it's a little spinny thing for four pets you can put four pets in it and spin it around Pets in this one are a mouse, uh, I think a squirrel, a hamster, and a little penguin, a little bird. I don't think it's a penguin, it's just some kind of bird, but I thought there was a cat too, but I think that, oh, there's a raccoon. There's like stuff. I think I thought the squirrel was the cat because it kind of looks like a. It kind of looks like a cat. Very, very cute. <laughs> cute little toy. And once again, I had a lot of fun with this one. Oh yeah, I forgot this part comes off. I think, doesn't it? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't want to force it off. But I thought for sure you could take, take this. Yeah, see? You can just have your little pet on there. That's really cute. Oh my god. It's a surefire way to get it. get it lost. And the cool thing about all of these sets that I have still is I kept most of the accessories for all of them. So where a lot of people have their accessories missing, um, I ended up retaining a lot of what I had. Um, I was a very like careful child when I was a kid. Like I um, took care of my toys, took care of my stuff. This is the little pet love and playhouse. Um, this one I could see potentially selling only because it was one that I ended up getting kind of, I think this is one of the later ones that I got because I had seen, did it, was it a friend I had that had it or maybe I saw it? But it wasn't one of the ones that, as beautiful as it is, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about because this one's honestly really bomb. But I don't know. The only reason I think about selling things is because they take up so much space. Um, and uh, space in like bins, like storage bins, but really. It doesn't really affect the space that we live in. I don't know. I don't know why I'm in this like purging phase, this phase of like 
wanting to sell and get rid of stuff, but maybe I should slow down with it and think about it before I sell this stuff. <laughs> um, but like I said, if anything, I would just hold on to a couple of them and then sell a couple of them. Um, you know, keep the ones that I really, really liked. And then, like I was also thinking, like, I feel like I would get rid of more of my kid and baby stuff than this. Like, I would hold on to this over some of that <laughs> that shit. Because I don't... Why do I ever look at that? That stuff. Um, so what you'll notice about this one is it's got this cool <laughs> hamster one was before the doctor's office. So let's open this up. <laughs> this looks like a fun, chill little place for pets to hang out. <laughs> oh. So, when you open Some really cute little pictures. There's like a hamster with a party hat and his birthday cake. Um, there's this little part that comes down when you put their paw right here, it'll come down. And then this cool little fish. There's definitely a set or a couple sets that I played with like the most and I'll probably towards the end those are gonna be the ones that I show you and they're probably the biggest ones too. <laughs> um, but that one was definitely a cool one, a fun one to play with but it was very hard to show you guys. Um, I struggled with that really badly but we'll move on. <laughs> um, that was the playhouse. And this one is the So this one I know for a fact I got like way later than the other ones. Let's look at the date on this one. 2007. Um and you know what? You can almost even tell a difference in the quality very slightly. It's still really really cute, right? still really cute and colorful and retains the little sped shop feeling about it, right? But you can kind of tell, like, the plastic is thinner. Um, the, like, I don't know, like, it just feels a little bit different, but it's still cute. I'm not, I'm not complaining whatsoever. I'm just making an observation.
This set might have come with a monkey, I'm not sure. But and then that's what I noticed about this one is there's really not much going on with it. Um, there might be some accessories that went with this that are missing that would go in here. Um, I also kind of want to look it up. <laughs> I kind of want to look up this. I'll look it up afterwards and show you guys if there was anything else. Anything else that was included. Still not too much going on with it. Um, off the bat, your first impression. But there's a perch here too for a bird. But I love the theme of this one a lot. I love that it's like a little clubhouse. <laughs> like a, a huge thing. I was like, this thing's huge. So, this next one, I got a lot of use out of. <laughs> um, I played with this one a lot. And I would say it maybe as like the most wear on it. <laughs> out of all of them, I like the most noticeable wear. It's got like, I think that's like sun damage right there. <laughs> or something. I'll attempt to show you this as best as I can. Um, it's this biggest, biggest little pet shop. Um, I don't even remember what this was called, but it's a giant house. And I freaking love the colors of this. Like, look at the colors. That's so me. This one I'm holding on to for sure. If I keep, if I kept any of them. Out of all of them, I would keep this one. Um, this part here, it turns. If you turn it all the way, and then I think you press this button here, it, it does something. I forget what it does, but I think this, this part right here, where there's three, I think all of that spins around when you do this thing. <laughs> um, the door is missing, I just realized. But I think I still have it. I don't think it's gone. Very well might be though, which that'd be kind of sad. <laughs> but, so we got in the front. And, oh, 
I just love everything about this. And the memories are coming back to me now of how much fun I had with it. Um, there's a little accessory stuck in here. I wonder if I'll be able to get it out. I like could not for the life of me get it out for the longest time. And it's like, it's a little piece of cheese. It's a little like piece of toy cheese stuck in there. <laughs> And then on the bottom, there's like a little store. I thought that was so cool. I was like, what is this, really? Like, they live here, but there's a little general store. Like, they all live together. I just thought it was so cool. <laughs> and then that middle part is really cool. Um, there's a top part for like a fish. <laughs> um, the middle is a little bathroom. And the bottom is just a little play. side there's kind of like there's a spot for a hammock here I still have the hammock and there's probably other little accessories that went here too um, there's a, a little bathtub I think that came with this and I have that still I'll show you that um, when I show you the accessories there's a little balcony here too um, and then I don't know kind of like spot here. I mean, I don't know why. Like, the entrance I thought was cute. But yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it was so hard to show you this, um, and, like, tap on it, but maybe I'll, like, take a picture of it open so you can see better all the little features. Um, <laughs> it's so much fun with this one. It's like I lived my second life in this little house. <laughs> and then it um, goes together. There's like a, if you can see, it goes in here. It's just very cool, you know.
trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to talk, tell you about this one. The hammock. There's a hammock on the floor, but I think the hammock for that house was a pink hammock. I don't think it was the yellow one. It might have been the yellow one, but I think the yellow one goes with um, the next one I'm going to show you, actually. I don't know why it feels really good. They don't like hurt or anything. But <laughs> sorry about the absence of big chunk. I've been getting lazy with the chunks. I'm sorry. There's just little places for your pet to sit and play. Gift shop. I like this part here that's a little outdoor area. Um, once again, there's accessories that go in here. Like, I think this is a spot for like a little bike or something that goes around. Something like that. And then this goes up the elevator. I really enjoy.
napkins. <sighs> so fun. I'll probably show you that too eventually. I'm sure there's a way I could show you what the website looked like. And maybe I could buy one of the digital pets from eBay sometime and show you do a video with it. I'm not sure. <laughs> if there is, then I'll definitely do that for an ASMR video. Got one more left. One more left. One more, one more set. One more set. I'm looking forward to the other parts because, first of all, those will be easier to do, <laughs> to show you, and tap on the stuff. There's going to be a lot of cool different triggers and sounds because of all the different textures and materials the accessories are made of. Um, the pets, showing you the pets will be cool because I have so many pets and the pets are really where, like, the value is. Um, I kept, like, I kept almost all of them. I don't think I got rid of hardly any of them. Um, okay, so this last one is another, it's like an outdoor outdoor playground, basically. <laughs> I'll go grab that. So check this out. Uh, a lot going on with this one. And I had a lot of fun with this one, for sure. Since it's like the only as blatantly like outdoor I like the parts that have little um, hideout areas. Like, I like this little house. Um, there's another little elevator here. Uh, this cover is an arch. There's a place to play hopscotch over here. If you tried to play with this the way you did when you were a kid, it wouldn't work, you know? Like, unless you were somebody who, like, age regressed, which, you know, that's a, that, that's understandable, and that's a special case. <laughs> um, and I understand age regression um, because of the trauma. Like, I've experienced age regression before. almost looks like a tongue.
hope you enjoyed uh, me showing you this little collection of my little pet shop play sets. Sorry, it was chaotic. I had a feeling like I was waiting a while to make this video because I knew it was going to be kind of chaotic trying to <laughs> show you everything. Um, but getting this kind of over with is a relief. Because the next two parts will be a lot more fun um, showing you the items. But the Chunks and I, thank you for watching and listening. And we hope to see you in part two and part three. a lot of